looks like a jack. Está bueno. ¿Con qué lo cogiste? ¿Con camarón? Oh boy, oh boy. There is, there it is, there it is, there it is, guys. There it is. That's the boat that's gonna rescue. That's the boat that's gonna rescue. This looks like this, these guys are gonna tow them in. And it looks like Sito got the call. Yeah, yeah, that's that's an emergency call right there, guys. That's an emergency call. Sito is on it. And now this captain, if you guys remember, okay, just for the record, this is obviously a no wake zone still, but because this is a scenario that's, this, this boat is probably sinking. This guy was the guy who did the restoration of the, what was it, that boat that, that sunk at the marina and we filmed it. I'll link it to this video, but yes, that's it. This, this is the guy who's gonna, this is the guy who's gonna go ahead and bring back the boat. All right, um, now we, we got, uh, our patience has, well, our patience and the fact that this guy caught that fish and got my interest, because I, I, um, I probably wouldn't have had my my mic or anything on if that weren't the case. So yes, he is going to go over there. Let's see. It's going to turn into your, to the left. And um, interesting turn of events over here at Black Point, guys. Um, now, now I'm assuming all the debris had to be picked up for for the investigation, and um, there were two people that I saw walk off of, of the actual boat, and then they were put on the stretcher just to to, be, to, to make sure. Hey, so you guys did pretty good. You guys did good. Yeah, it was all right, Dave. I saw you guys catching. You guys did a good day. Hey, you guys take care, man. It's so, it's so from where you like them? Yeah, you see that boat that just left really fast? Mm -hmm. That's the tow boat that's gonna go pick up the, 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 the boat. But if you watch my channel, the one I told you earlier, mm -hmm. you'll see it, you'll see it on my channel. All right, guys. Um, now, you see him there? All right, so he's, he's got a little truck to go. And um, they're all the way over here. Not terrible, where was it? They're all the way right here. Oh boy. Okay, so this is one of the responding officers that were over there at the scene of the accident. And then they have the other boat behind them. Okay, see, this is the Black, Black Point crew right here, right? Most of these divers, look at, and you have a police diver there. Oh man, they're getting into the shot. But this, this is the crew that comes out of here, out of Black Point, guys. Most of those faces are recognizable to the channel. Um, except that, that guy. All right, let's see who else is on the way back. Because this one's the other boat right here. And we, we have the fishermen over there. This is the other boat that has its lights on. So it looks like the people over there at Sito are doing that 
That boat is probably sinking. And they're doing um, the pump out and getting the boat afloat so they can. Look at, look at these pelicans. All right, these guys are gonna catch a bunch of fish now because all the baits over here and the pelican are just gonna go to town on that stuff. Now, in most cases, I try not to ask these guys what's going on, just in case, right? Active investigation. They probably have to have a de uh, designated uh, spokesperson for that, so. But I definitely love, love to get the, the, the exact info of what they know, right? crew of officers coming back. That was one of the intrepids that, um, that's not a local boat here at Black Point either, guys. Talking to a local boat guy here, we were, we were talking about what can cause something like this. And obviously he says it's some type of catastrophic failure, but he says your, your lines, you know, if, if they hook the boat. Um, we recently had a, a boat accident here because of, because of a, a dock line that, that got on the prop. So that was a huge issue and a huge problem down here uh, lately too, on one of those race days. Um, but it would be interesting to see what happens after the fact and, and find out, to, to, to just inform you guys, right? And, and guys, obviously high speed, you know, they're, I'm, I'm sure they're going pretty fast. Um, they, they got four uh, 450 Mercury's, so, so those, those motors are extremely fast. Someone also had sent me a message saying that that boat was currently um, either for sale or, or something of that event. And I, I don't know for sure, guys. I'm, I'm just like you guys in this case. I, I don't know the full facts. So don't take my word as for, but I'm just telling you what they're telling me. But they're getting close. Um, and we'll see what it looks like on the way in. All right, guys. Um, police officers are, are definitely telling these guys, make sure you give them the right of way because this other boat is coming. Is that a FWC or is that a park boat? Um, we're losing light, guys. We're losing light, but it's... Okay, yeah, that's why he, that's why he came a little hot to make sure this guy's not in the way. Um, here's the boat. Oh my goodness, hundred percent sinking. Boat for sure is sinking. You got Sito bringing it in. 
Oh my goodness. Guys, that boat had a T-top. Unreal, dude. Such a devastating crash. goodness look at this oh my goodness look at this boat dude oh that is not good oh my goodness it's oh my goodness and they're dragging they're dragging the t-top the whole console dude absolutely crazy dude oh my goodness guys that is absolutely nuts crazy um i was able to run down two before the boat had gotten here and obviously this boat is sinking guys but we got FWC here and if you notice everything is completely blocked off everything um, very serious serious accident oh there I see the lights I see the lights that's the first that's the first boat that's coming in. That was the escort police boat. Um, they were towing it. This was the National Park Service um, that was the first boat that was I mean, these guys have probably been out there for hours um, doing this entire, um, it's been an absolutely crazy day, guys. Crazy day, to say the least. All right, I, I see, I, I see, I see him through the things. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm knee deep in the water, guys, and if you guys don't know this, this, Marina, Black Point Marina, is known for having uh, an American crocodile, which is very, very big. They're just asking if the trailer is in the center of the haul out. They need it. They got two boats uh, guiding this thing. Oh my goodness! Look at this crazy, crazy. That's that's uh, over half a million dollar boat, guys. Quad four fifties. Um, uh, I am just don't know what to say. Literally, it's such a tough thing to see. Here it is. Incredible, dude. Crazy. Crazy, crazy footage, dude. Oh my goodness, just looking at that T-top. Absolutely nuts. Look at look at the fiberglass. That was a violent accident, guys. Violent, violent accident. Wow. Crazy, dude. 
dude. Crazy. My God, Capri, please spare anybody that was on that boat. This is crazy. And here's the other boat that was right behind it, which is the the other FWC uh, boat. That's our, like what you would call game warden in a lot of states. Uh, we call it the Florida Fish and Wildlife. That was a violent accident too. Very, very bad accident. That boat had to have rolled. It just doesn't make sense how everything would just come off like that. Looks like they got it on the trailer. There, there's a truck right there, right in front of it. Yeah, they had to they had to bring two two boats that's why it made it made no sense why i didn't see it from a distance it did you could all, all you saw was yellow and that now it makes sense see they were pumping it out as they were coming in I don't know if they're going to be able to pull those motors up. Um, now, three of them were were airlifted to local hospitals. Um, I don't know at this moment what was what's what's going on. I know they did tell me that one of them is very serious. And please put your, your thoughts and prayers for, for all of them involved. But the one that's very serious was the first one that was airlifted. Now, as of late, we had another accident here on one of the races on a boat that uh, was racing and, and their a line, uh, one of their dock lines got uh, stuck on a on a, on the pro, on the propeller and 
ejected him. It was also very scary, very violent as well. Looks like it's sitting on the trailer already. And as you imagine, there's 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 local uh, news over here. And if you see all that, like you have local news stations, which they typically don't come um, unless it's something really really bad like this. Um, and they actually got a lot of news stations got a lot of the aerial footage of the boat after the accident. All right, looks like the other boat is, is not no longer tied as well. Those engines, the base, depending on how how that in, that trailer sits, it, it might be very low to the ground since they can't bring those engines up. I don't know. I don't know if that's the actual trailer from the boat or if that's a a, a boat trailer provided by Miami Dade Police. And they have they have their own boats here, guys. I just heard uh, some of the officers, are we good to go? So it looks like when they needed to break everything down, they needed to get, make sure nobody was in the way. Typically in this area, when it's busy, we'll have a lot of people there uh, sitting around and watching the boats coming in and out. There it is, there it is. Oh, it's got plenty of room. The, um, the police department has a yard here, um, and there's also a, like a, a marina that they can probably store this boat until they continue the, the rest of the investigation. Police are taking pictures of any lines, anything that's broken that they can use to figure out why this happened. You know, it, um, you see all this, these lights and this commotion. Most of these guys have been here all day. And there was a lot of first responders when it comes to the 
um, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, everybody that was involved in the actual rescue. accident dude all right guys well listen up um i i wrestle with doing videos like this on my channel because that's not kind of what i want to be the vibe i want to bring what i will tell you is speed is dangerous alcohol and speed is way more dangerous so you know be safe out on the water make sure you give yourself a shot wear your pfds and uh, if we can learn something from this um, terrible tragedy, then let's do it. Alfred Montaner, Black Point Marina. Guys, I'm out of here.